What is up, Lightning Squad, and welcome back to Neighbor Games. I am your host, Neighbor. Today, trainers, we are back with another tier list, and if you didn't guess from the thumbnail, I'm going to be ranking my pseudo-legendary shinies today. This was requested in my community recently, so I thought, hey, let's go ahead and do it. I did include the link in the description below for you to make your tier list. So again, this is my tier list. This is how I feel about these shiny Pokemon. Yours could be completely different. So if you could, in the description below, click on that link and rank the shiny Pokemon pseudo legendaries. You can post it in my Discord, or you can also just let me know in the comments what you would put in the S8. B, C, and D tiers. I did remove the F tier this time, so we're we're, we're back to not having an F tier Pokemon list. <laughs> but we're gonna start generation by generation. Let me know in the comments below what yours are. Let's go right ahead and get right into this. So first generation, of course, was the Dratini line. I really love Dratini. Uh, I like Dragonair more, which is why I'm gonna put Dragonair in S tier. And I know it gets a lot of flack, but Dragonite, is honestly an okay shiny for me. I'm not putting it in S tier. I, I don't think I'm gonna put it in S tier, but I do feel like it doesn't deserve the D tier. I feel like it's okay. It's a pretty good shiny. Um, it definitely reminds me of Dragon Tails, <laughs> but um, I, I, I don't mind it. I definitely don't mind it. So uh, there we go. That's my Gen 1 pseudo legendary shiny list. Thank you for coming to my, my TikTok. All right, so on to the second generation. All right, now Larvitar here is also going to be in B tier. I don't think it's terrible, but I definitely love the look of Pupitar more. And I'm actually gonna put Pupitar in the S tier because I think overall, like generally, it looks much better than, uh, than Larvitar. It looks completely different than its original form so i'm definitely down for that i like the purple uh this is one of those times where a purple shiny is going to be really top tier for me so yeah there we go all right after pupitar of course we're going to evolve into tyranitar and you may be disappointed but i'm going to put dis i'm going to put tyranitar into the a tier i don't think it's s tier material it's still a great shiny but it doesn't depart too far from its original form so I'm gonna put it into the A tier. And I think I'm gonna put, just because I'm not a big fan of the Mega design, our first C tier Pokemon is going to be Mega Tyranitar. Don't, don't come for me in the comments, that's just my opinion. <laughs> so that wraps up Gen 2 and on to Gen 3, the first generation and only generation to have two pseudo legendary Pokemon. In this one we have the Bagon line and honestly Bagon's a really solid shiny. It's a big departure uh, and I'm just, I'm just not a big fan of a lot of green shinies. There are certain, if you hit the green shiny right, it's a great shiny. If if, if not, it goes a little bit lower for me. Here is Shellgon. It goes to D tier. It's our first D tier Pokemon because I just don't like it. It's so muted. It's not, it's not surprising to me. And the last two generations had mid evolutions that were surprisingly different and they really, really step out from how the original looks. So I'm sorry, Shellgon down to the D tier you go. Here we have Salamence, and you might be surprised to see me put Salamence only in the A tier, but that's because Mega Salamence with the design and the shiny goes into the S tier. That is a solid shiny. We had a revisit of how this Pokemon looked in Roaring Moon, uh, the Paradox Pokemon from Scarlet, and I really love this. I love this Pokemon a lot. The Mega Evolution is so great. And we're still on trend for having at least one Pokemon from each generation in the S tier. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw Matang Beldum into the A tier. They are fantastic shinies. I just, I feel like Metagross and Mega Metagross are in the S tier. And I know that's probably, it's overplayed. It's 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 pandering to, to, to audiences. That shiny is fantastic. It looks fantastic. I actually think I'm gonna bring Metagross back down to the A tier and leave Mega Metagross into the S tier. The blue X on its face is phenomenal. It's a solid looking shiny. Um, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for what I just did, but it's fine. This is my tier list, it's what I'm happy with, and there we go. It's I still have Metagross in the A and S tier. The whole line for Metagross is in the A tier, come on. All right, here we go. Gibble. 
This one is probably going to be, honestly, the only time I'm not going to put something. I don't know. Gibble's really good. I like it. I'm a big fan of blue and yellow shinies. I feel like Gibble's got to go here. I got to give it a little bit of redemption because Gabite is just okay. Gibble is much better than Gabite is. But y'all know Garchomp. If there was an F tier, it would be there. Garchomp Shiny is so similar to its regular form, there's almost no difference. It's just, they just lighten the saturation a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. So D tier it goes. And even though it's a great departure from the original Shiny, Mega Garchomp is only going to go to A tier for me. I'm just not a fan of the pink and purple. I feel like maybe if they would have had a green to kind of like stand out a little bit, it kind of gets lost for me. But still, still a fantastic Shiny. Better than Garchomp. We're on to Gen 5, which I was mistaken. Recently in a stream, I was talking about how my favorite pseudo legendary was Haxorus. I did not know Haxorus was not a pseudo legendary. I've been doing Pokemon since I was nine. Even I get it wrong sometimes, y'all. That being said, here is Gen 5. And in all honesty, I think they're all solid shinies and I would put them all well, I don't know. I've gotten so many Zwellus <laughs> shinies in my life. I'm probably going to put that in B tier just because of that feeling. But Hydreigon, Hydreigon is going to S tier. It is fantastic. The green, the purple, the black. It looks evil. It's a dark dragon type. What more could you want? S tier instantly. I love it. I'm going to take a break here to ask if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I, YouTube tells me most of you haven't subscribed yet. I would love to see you stick around. I post awesome content like this two times weekly. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss when I post awesome content. All right, here we go. We've got Gumi. And uh, this was the first one that has a, a Hisuian form. It's the only one I think that we have an alternate form for. Uh, Gumi is going to go here into A tier. I like, don't get me wrong. I like Sligoo. I'm just not a fan of the eyes. It loses some of that cuteness that Gumi had. So I have to put, I have to put Sligoo into the B tier. And I'm not a fan. It's not D tier class, but I am not a fan. I'm gonna go ahead and put Hisui and Gudra here too. Not a fan of the Gudra shinies for uh, the Hisuian forms, but they're not in D tier because that shell is kind of cool and I love the typing. Gudra is going straight to S tier. I love Gudra's shiny. It's so good. Again, I'm a big fan of yellow shinies and black shinies and blue shinies. So this one falls into the yellow category and that coral color on its belly looks really good too. Absolutely love it. When we're talking about vibrant shiny Pokemon, you have to talk about the Jengmo. o line <laughs> this whole line is loud if color was loud it would be there jangmo o is going to go to b tier it, it's a bit much for me i actually think unfortunately this is going to be the one line where like like hakamo o is going to go into b tier and i like komo o a lot i like the design for komo o a lot but this is going to be our first pseudo legendary that does not make it into the s tier i'm sorry uh it's still a really great Pokemon. It's just, it's so loud and I'm not a big fan of it. Maybe one day if I catch one, cause I don't have one. I don't have a shiny Hakamo'o, Jengmo'o, Komo'o anywhere. So maybe if I ever catch one, I might actually fall in love with it. But for now, this tentatively, this is Komo'o is going into A with an asterisk. We are on now to generation eight. And Generation 8 has my favorite pseudo legendary of all time. We've got the Dreepy line. That being said, I don't care for Dreepy. Dreepy Shiny is not the best to me. It's not D tier. I don't know. I don't know why, but it's just not like it's great. It's a good shiny. It's just not as good as its future forms. <laughs> Here we've got Dracloak. Dracloak is better. I'm definitely gonna put it in the okay portion kind of b tier but this shiny here with dragapult is second to none for all of the pseudo legendaries if i were to place like if i were to rank all of my s tier 
shinies here, Dragapult would be number one. I don't have one. And this is tentative, but I might just start hunting for Dragapult in Sword and Shield. And the way you would see that is, is you would definitely see it on my Twitch TV slash Neighbor Games because I stream Monday through Friday, 12 to 1 central time on twitch.tv slash neighbor games and on TikTok at the same time. So if you haven't checked that out, there's a link in the bu description. All right. All right. We're on to the last generation here. This one's really hard for me because um, yeah, I, I do have this shiny and I think it's a, a great shiny, but uh, Frigibax, unfortunately, you're going to go down into the um, into the D tier here. Arctabax, however, Arctabax is good. You know, I actually kind of like Arctabax a lot, so I'm going to put it into the uh, not S tier. No, we're going to go B tier. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And we end off this list with Backscalibur going all the way up to. I'm just kidding. I'm putting Backscalibur into the A tier as well. <laughs> a tier for Backscalibur. It's still a great shiny. I like the pink hands on it. Uh, I get the Godzilla reference. I really dig that as well. I'm just it didn't it didn't make it above the a tier for me and it's just because it's not a huge departure but overall it's still a fantastic shiny none of these pokemon are terrible well garchomp regular garchomp i'm sorry you, you are a terrible shiny but the rest of the pokemon on this list are all fantastic shinies again i would love to hear your thoughts on what your favorite shinies are from all the student legendaries you can leave that in the comments below or join our discords and post your t your tier list the link for the tier list is also in the description below so make sure you click on that fill it out and join our discord and upload your tier list we'd love to see it all right, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Remember to be cool, be kind, and be awesome. And I will see you really soon. Catch you on the flip side.